Hey everyone, Sarah here with you this week for another Make a Monday session. For today's session, we're going to be making a Rube Goldberg machine. Now you might ask, what is a Rube Goldberg machine? Well, a Rube Goldberg machine is a complex contraption designed to make a simple task more complicated. Now it is purposely over-designed and over-engineered to make something simple a lot more complicated, but that is where the fun part lies. By designing and testing Rube Goldberg machines, we learn to be very creative, clever, and problem solve. You might also be wondering why it is called a Rube Goldberg machine. Well, Rube Goldberg was an American cartoonist who designed the machines, and he drew hundreds and hundreds of different pictures of these machines, but strangely enough, he never built or tested any of his designs. And how do I know all this information about Rube Goldberg machines, you might wonder? Well, I learned it from this library book, uh, Crazy Contraptions. And it's amazing, guys, what you can learn by picking up a library book. Okay, so today we're going to show you one example that we've made of a Rube Goldberg machine. But you can design and make your own at home using any type of material that you have around the house. And when you're looking for materials for your design, it can be easy, um, it's a good idea to group them. So you can group them into things that roll. So things like marbles, toy cars. Uh, you also wanna look for materials that fall or move when force is applied. So things like I've got today, so things like the dominoes, uh, books or building blocks. And we're also looking for things that we can use to make um, inclined planes or ramps. So things like I've got here, I've got my books, and empty paper towel rolls or just any recyclable materials that you have around the house. So for our Rib Goldberg design today, we've taken a simple task of packing away our wooden uh, plank that we used to build. So if I wanted to do that simply, I could simply just pick it up and pop it into my container. But to do it the Rub Goldberg way, we've designed several different steps. And let's look first at how that's going to work. So for our Rib Goldberg, we've made a plane using some old books and our paper towel tube. We're going to roll this marble down the paper towel tube and then the marble will come out this side and knock over the dominoes, which will then knock into my thing that rolls, my toy car, and that will then in turn, hopefully, knock our building block into its container. And we haven't tested this design yet, so let's test it now. Okay, so we've tested our Rube Goldberg machine and it worked. In fact, it worked so well that it actually knocked my toy car into the box along with my wooden block. And that's okay, but if I didn't want that to happen, I could now go back and modify my design to prevent that from happening. So I could look at maybe using a different object instead of the toy car. Maybe I could put some more dominoes at the end of my machine, or I could look at building something at the end of the machine that would stop the car from also rolling into the box with the block. And that's the beauty of Rib Goldberg machines. They really allow us to problem solve. So if your machine doesn't work the first time, that's okay. Um, now you can look at different ways that you can um, adapt your design so that it does what you wanted it to achieve. If your design does work the first time, you can give yourself an extra challenge by adding things to your design to make it even more complicated. So I could look at adding something to the beginning of my design um, and starting my marble a little bit further away and making it harder. Or you could look at uh, making a second Rube Goldberg machine with a different task in mind. Okay, so now it's time for you guys to build your own Rube Goldberg machine. Remember, there's a few simple steps. So the first thing you need to do is decide what you would like your Rube Goldberg machine to do. So what simple task do you want it to achieve? So some examples of tasks that you could choose would be to pop a balloon, ring a bell, or put a favorite toy away like we did today. The second thing is to sketch out your design and decide on what materials that you want to use. So again, you're looking for things that roll, things that will move when pushed, anything around the house that you have that you can recycle. And then the third thing and the most fun part is to test your design and keep testing until you get it just how you would like it. So again, don't be afraid to make changes to your design and keep on testing. And if you've got any photographs of your design, we'd love to see them. Please post them in the comments below. 
That's all from me today, guys. Thanks for joining me for Maker Monday, and we'll see you next week.